friends, Stephanie here, and I'm back with more movie chatter. And what I have for you today is a little change in schedule. I know I had posted that today was going to be my Arrow Complete Horror Collection. I'm moving that to tomorrow, and what I'm going to show you today is my complete Halloween media collection. And I have various uh, movies from the franchise on various formats. I also have a few records, a book, and I have one figure. Now, the reason I did that, I have other things. I have masks, I have figures, I have things around the room, collectibles. I'm saving that for the room tour, which I promise is coming, because I figured in the interest of time, and also to give us some talking points through the room tour um, video, I figured I would just leave those for, uh, for that video. And I'm gonna start with a VHS, because I'm a product of that era, and I, I like having VHS uh, tapes of my, some of my favorite movies around the room because it just I, I love the nostalgia of it and this one is a legit one it's not like my uh my janky uh <laughs> friday the 13th one that came from who knows where but this is a vhs of halloween 78 and it is put out by anchor bay so it's legit and it has the regular cover that we're used to seeing the the pumpkin type deal and then you can see on the bottom corner here the Anchor Bay logo. So this is a legit copy and I'm very happy to have it in the collection. Now we have some DVDs. This is the first DVD copy I ever had of Halloween and it's cool. It's a lenticular and I think this one is still around if you look. I mean you probably get it on eBay but I don't know what the price would be but I, I think it's still on Amazon. The selling point for this one and it's very cool. It, ha it comes with the regular regular DVD and then the card with the chapters but you also get a television a TV version of Halloween 78 and I don't know if everybody was aware that there is a, a television version that is different from the regular theatrical movie and it has different scenes in it it has really interesting stuff in it and if you ever get your chance if you ever get a chance to get your hands on the TV version if you're a fan of the movie maybe because you're watching this video Give it a look because there are some changes and it's really pretty cool. So I enjoy having the uh, the television version and people, when I put it on, and people do enjoy watching it. So it's pretty cool. Now this next one is, it was the 25th anniversary of Halloween and that's the cover. It's not a lenticular, but it's a cool cover. The selling point for this when I bought it and um, uh, I keep it because I keep everything Halloween, but the selling point for this one was there is an 87 minute documentary on this one that is not included on the original and it's called A Cut Above the Rest. It's a documentary featuring interviews with writer-director John Carpenter and also Jamie Lee Curtis, PJ Souls, Nick Castle, and other people involved with the movie. So it's a really great documentary. So if you ever see this, this is easy to get. You can find this on Amazon. Um, it's a Divimax version, but it's a it's a really good DVD to have in your collection if you're a fan of collecting multiple versions of a movie. Even for the documentary alone, it is well worth having. Now I'm just going to buzz through some standard Blu-rays that I kept around. And of course we have the uh, original Halloween 78. Now this was a 35th anniversary edition that was first put out as a digibook, which I'll show you that in a minute. And then they changed it over to just a standard Blu-ray. And then we have the 30th anniversary of Halloween 2. This is not a Scream Factory or anything. It's just a regular regular Blu-ray, as is this one. This one's for Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I am a big fan of Halloween 3, and I think it's developed quite a following. Let me know in the comments. Are you a fan of Season of the Witch? And this is a random, uh, random Scream Factory for Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. So there's that one. I like the cover art on that. I think it's very cool. And then... This was the first time we got the uh, uncut producer, the unrated producer's cut of uh, Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. So kept that around. So that's fun. And then Scream Factory released, you know, the big box set, the first box set, Blu-ray box set that they released. And of course I flaked and I missed out on it. But one day I was wandering around, probably Best Buy because they had a nice huge media section. And I saw this sitting by itself, just one. It was the 10 disc set that they put out after the box set and I was able to pick it up. So it's this one and it comes with two uh, like like chunky, chunky Blu-ray cases. It would help if I showed you the front, right? So on the first one, we get Halloween, Halloween 2, 3, 4, and 5. <clears throat> 
and they did a nice job they put i love when they put the the movies and the things inside the menu and then they did it right they did it with the swing tray and whatnot there's no stack discs or anything like that and every movie has its own disc so they're nice and the transfers you know they look good it's probably the same as the box set and then on the second one they put halloween uh the curse of michael myers h2o resurrection and then they added everyone's favorites the rob zombie uh halloween and halloween 2 which i know everybody loves halloween 2 but i'm just kidding with you but that's the cover they use for the front of that so i was really excited when i was able to get my hands on this one especially since i missed out on that uh box set so that's good to have now i'm gonna get into some digi books and the first one is the 35th anniversary of uh, the 35th anniversary of Halloween 78. The thing about this one is I was able to get it signed up by Nick Castle the same day we met Kane Hodder at Monster Mania. We met Nick Castle, who couldn't have been any nicer. So there's that, and I love having this in my collection. And you guys know what uh, you know. You know what digi books are has the pages and whatnot the only thing I wasn't crazy about with this one is the way they have the disc slipped in here so you have to slide the disc in and out and you know we always worry about scratches they say oh it won't scratch they can scratch but you just have to be really uh gentle with them so there's that and then uh these I grabbed on Diabolic these are German media books so all the writing is in German I know I can't read it why have it because I like them and uh, I love the artwork. Look at this for Halloween too. Look at that artwork. That is beautiful. And then we have the back. And just like the Turbine Media uh, 4K for Texas Chainsaw that I have, it comes with a 4K disc, which plays just fine. We get some, you know, there's some cool pictures and whatnot in the book. So the pictures are cool. And then you get also a, a Blu-ray disc, which plays just fine. So it is a usable set from that perspective. I just can't read the, uh, read the text in the book. But then we have another one, because of course we can't stop at one. I had to get Halloween 3 also, but come on, wait till you see this artwork. That is gorgeous. That is beautiful, beautiful artwork. And then here's the back. And then it's the same thing. We just have the uh, the pic. Look at that in the front. That's pretty cool. But we get a, a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc in the back. But uh, a lot of writing in this one. But we have some, uh, there's some images in here. Uh, let me see. There was one I saw that was pretty cool. That one, the one of the, uh, <clears throat> the skeleton mask. I like that one. But anyway, uh, like I said. It's not for the reading, it's for the artwork and for collecting purposes and because it has a 4K and a Blu-ray. And then these are some 4K editions that I have, which, you know, pretty self-explanatory here. Halloween 78. Halloween 2018, which I really do. I love that mask. I think the mask is so good. And then we're starting to go Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills is not horrible. I didn't think Halloween Kills was bad. The only thing I didn't like about Halloween Kills was I didn't like the whole mob mentality. For people who haven't seen it, I'm not going to get into it. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And then, of course, I had to finish it out and I had to get Halloween Ends. I know, I know, but, you know, come on. I had to have it. But what I did is I got the Walmart one, which is the Velcro gatefold one with Michael and Lori staring each other down. But I like this. Uh, I like this style cover. I wish they did more of those. So, those are some uh, 4K editions. And then I have one figure with me today. I brought. I brought this one because it matches the one that I showed you on Friday the 13th, the Jason one. And these are the the movie maniacs. This guy is probably about 20 years old, and he's in much better condition than uh, than Jason is. But um, it's pretty cool. It's Michael Myers. Hopefully you can see that, but he's got a stand. Like I told you before, uh, if you saw that other video, they have little holes in their feet and their stand. You can just put them right on the stand. So he doesn't go anywhere, but I'm just so happy to have this and that, that he's been around for so long and uh, they're just fun to have. They, they look cool in the room. And now we're going to get into some steel books, of course, because I love my steel books. 
And we have the first one. This was uh, the one of the first Lionsgate ones that I picked up. And I love this. It has, you know, when you lift the cover, the leaves come off. And you have Michael on the front and Lori on the back. It opens up. And then you have your discs inside. So I really, I love the Lionsgate seal books. As I, I, I think it's everybody does it's universally loved in the movie community we all love our lion's gate seal books uh and then they uh there was this one i had first obviously it's another of that um 35th anniversary not crazy about that artwork but you know how we are when we collect you just pick it up anyway and then we have the pumpkin uh guy on the back now this was the first one they put out for halloween 2018 and uh, i'm okay with this artwork i, th I don't think it's bad I don't think it's bad at all, but I love this. I love the back, the pumpkin. That is such a cool image. But you still, I mean, come on, you have to have Michael on the front. It's it's Michael Myers, come on. And then they put out this one, which was, uh, they called it the, the McFarlane edition, and I really do like this one. I think this is great artwork. That is a beautiful, beautiful front cover. And then on the back, very cool too. Just Michael holding the knife. So those are some of the first steel books that I have. And then um, this one, these are Scream Factory. So they put out Halloween 2. And the back, you can't really see. It's Lori hiding. Maybe you can see. There you go. And then they put out one for Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. And again, the back is a little bit dark. I'll try and get, there we go. And I don't know if they put out any others. Those are the only ones I picked up. And then uh, I, uh, I got Halloween Kills. I haven't had this one very long, but picked that one up. Haven't even opened it yet. And then I like this one because I loved, I love that it's different. It's orange. I, I think it's really cool. It's Halloween Ends. I think that's a nice steel book. It's different. You don't see orange used a lot in the steel books. And I like that it wasn't just a black steel book. And we have Lori on the back. And then this one, I love this one. This is um, the Rob Zombie Halloween Collector's Edition. This one was hard to come by. I think, uh, I think I got it at FYE. But I love that mask. I love the cover. And then the back is just, uh, this is a great picture on the back. Various ages of Michael with the different, uh, different masks that he made and such. And one of the things I love about Rob Zombie's first Halloween is that backstory, the very detailed backstory that we get about Michael that we didn't get in any other movies. And I think that was a great touch and he did a really great job with that one. And now the most recent one, we just got this one from uh, Paramount and it's the uh, H2O 20 year uh, steel book and take it off. And we have a nice image of Lori and Michael there on the front. And then I haven't, I haven't opened this one yet. Well, I opened it, but I didn't uh, take the J card off, but that's fine. And then we have that scene of Lori and Michael on the back. So those are the steel books that I have currently. Um, and then let's get into some of the Rob Zombie ones. I have a standard Blu-ray for the first one just a plain old blu-ray then we have the unrated direct these are both i believe both yeah they're both unrated director's cuts so we have that's the unrated director's cut and the first one was also the unrated director's cut but then i wanted the theatrical cuts so to get the theatrical cuts you have to get this blu-ray double feature so you have the theatrical cuts of both. And this is readily available on Amazon still to this day, if you okay. want. And the last thing I have in the pile here, this first pile, is the, it's a release from Viavision, which just recently came out. And it is a, a box, little box set for Halloween 1 and 2 from uh, Rob Zombie. So it's the Rob Zombie collection there. Love the artwork. And then we have all the goodies on the back. If you want to freeze that, try and give it a look. And it's typical imprint via vision, same thing, side loader, slip box with the same art on the inside, same information on the back. But what you get with this set is 
we get the now everything's blu-ray and everything with these these and imprint they're always region free no matter what it says uh we get the halloween the first one the unrated director's cut then we have michael lives the making of halloween so you have a whole disc of special features and then we have the unrated director's cut for halloween 2 and the theatrical cuts for both halloween and halloween 2. so with this set you get everything all in one one box set um, I'm not sure if this is still available, but I would check Orbit and I would check Diabolic, see if they have them in stock. If not, I'm sure at some point what they're going to do is release what they call a standard version, standard release. And all it means is you don't get the box. You'll still get the same. It's still all the same content. Everything in it is the same. The contents are the same. It's just without the box. That's typically what they do. But if you don't want to have a bunch of Blu-rays sitting around, you don't want things all over, shelf space, whatnot, definitely check into this one because it's a really nice set if you're a fan. So um, that's it for this pile. I'm going to grab the rest of the stuff and we'll wrap this one up. Okay, I have my last few items and then we're going to wrap this one up. I have uh, three records, two are scores, one is a soundtrack. I don't know if this one is Mondo or I'm not really sure where this one was the, from from the next one's from Mondo the last one's from Waxworks but this one is the score for the original 1978 uh, Halloween and you can see Michael's image on the front there and you can also see him on the back and inside's kind of this one's kind of plain on the inside but I love the music from uh, Halloween 78. So this one was uh, a must have for me. And it's great to put on, you know, this time of the year to get into the spirit of Halloween. And I'm going to take this one out. I had to take everything apart before I started the video because they're a little tough to get in and out. And I don't want anything to get scratched. But I do want to show you the, the marbled vinyl because it really looks amazing. This is a, it's like a splatter uh, pattern and it's uh, black, orange and white. Hopefully that shows up correctly on the video. Same thing on the other side, but it's great. And like I said, I, I love the 78 score. So this, this one was a no brainer. I had to have this one. And then the next one I have is I had to take this one apart because this is from Mondo. It's a beautiful set, but it's like doing origami, trying to get everything out. Uh, this is a season of the witch. It's Halloween three season of the witch soundtrack, which is just so much fun. It's fantastic. The back kind of tucks in there and it flips open and then the record part, the vinyl part sits in there. So there's that. And then you get some different, I'll show you the vinyl in a minute, but what you get is you get a sheet that will tell you how to perform mind control. If you want to perform mind control, go ahead, feel free to freeze that, take a screenshot, and then you can do mind control on all your friends and you know, whatever. And then we get some pictures of the various masks from the movie. We have the pumpkin and we have, for some reason they gave a blue skull and a white skull. So we have the blue skull, the witch, and on the back it's just bugs. And then, oh, we have a like blue, whitish blue skull. It looked more, looked more white. I don't know, maybe they did mind control on me. And the pumpkins on the back of that one. So those are the cards that come with it. And then the vinyl actually sits in this. And I love that image too of the, the pumpkin. So we have that. And this one is just, it's clear vinyl with just a black, like a splotch for lack of a better, I don't even know, is that a word? Is splotch a word? I don't know, it is now. So we have a splotch pattern. On one side it says silver shamrock novelties. And then on the other side, it just tells you the track listings. But I love, who doesn't love the soundtrack of, you know, Season of the Witch? And you know the song, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, bless you with my, my singing abilities because uh, nobody needs to hear that. And copyright, there's my excuse, copyright. And the last one I have is, this is from Waxworks and it is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Now, whether you're a fan or not, remember Rob Zombie is a, a musician first so he does actual soundtracks he they they did uh House of a Thousand Corpses Devil's Rejects Three from Hell 
they are fantastic. It's all classic rock. And then what he does is he'll do a song. And then after the song, they'll have like uh, some talking from the movie. So it's little clips from the movie. And then it goes into another song. They're so good. So even if you're not a fan of the movies, the soundtracks are phenomenal if you're into classic rock. But this is the front art, which I think is outstanding. And then we have the back. And I, I'm not going to be able to take this one apart because it's just too hard to get out. We'll be here forever. And then we have the inside artwork. And uh, I checked there. I knew there was uh, everything's G-rated on this one. So I'm not going to show anything funky. So those are the, the vinyl uh, collections, that, uh, the parts of the vinyl collection that I have. And then I have a book. This is a really nice, another coffee table book, which I love. Still available on, uh, I think, both Barnes & Noble and Amazon. It says On Set with John Carpenter. And it is basically photos from the 1978 movie. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Here's the back. And it's not gigantic. So it's not, uh, it's not like it's going to take up a t I mean, it's a bigger book, but it's not a very thick book. It also has Escape from New York. It has, you know, various, uh, various films. So I'm looking, here's, here's some good shots from Halloween, Halloween 78. We have Dr. Loomis and Annie. Hopefully that's showing up. I can't see a thing. But you have like Jamie Lee Curtis hanging out. But it's fun because it shows you, um, you know, different shots from different movies. Oh, she's smoking in that one. And here, that's a shot that we all remember when she was waiting for her ride to go babysit on that fateful evening. But this is fun. If you like books, if you like movie books, coffee table books, this is a nice one to have out again. Like it's good for this time of the year. So that's a fun one. Uh, I will link it in the description. So if you wanna look it up and see if you can get it, um, you'll have the name of the book and everything. Now, I finally did get a Halloween box set. I got the 4K releases that Scream Factory did this year. And there was a guy on Etsy who makes these custom boxes for, to fit, just to fit these um, these releases, and they fit in with the slipcover. So here we have all the movies, all eight releases, and on the top, the, all the boxes say Halloween. You don't get to pick that. The back image is a pumpkin, but then on the side, you get to pick two side images, and there's a whole list. I went with Halloween 3, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, and then... I love this scene. It's the closet scene from Halloween 78. I love that picture. So this is a really nice set and it's a, it's a nice way to hold all the movies and it makes a nice display piece. So I, I usually have it back here from time to time, but it's really nice to put on a shelf. And if I can remember the guy's name and his Etsy store, I'll link it in the description. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but you have to make sure you order the right one because the first box I got, the movies didn't fit in it. It was wide and it was too short. It was meant for just regular Blu-rays and they, they weren't marked right. So I'll try and find the exact box and link that. But the last thing I have is, you know, I had to get it. I didn't open it yet because I'm not sure where I'm going to put it in the room and I did not want it to get scratched up. I got the Halloween Trilogy Collector's Edition, the Ultimate Steelbook Collection for Halloween, Halloween Kills, and Halloween ends. And yes, I got the UK version because I wanted to make sure that it arrived in one piece and without dents and without all the other nonsense that we get from time to time from you know where. So that's what I got. And it is the same set as the one that Best Buy did with the exception of it's just the 4K discs. It was a little more expensive, but for peace of mind to know that it was going to show up without the whole top or the sides dented in, I know everybody had some pretty good luck with the Best Buy one, and I, I think that's great. I'm very happy. Every For the most part, everybody seemed to get theirs intact, but I just wasn't going to take a chance. So I went with the UK set. It's fine. It's just 4K. There's no Blu-ray, but I have the Blu-rays. I don't need them. I just wanted to make sure everything showed up in one piece. Like I said, I haven't opened it yet because I'm not sure where in the room it's going to stay. And I didn't want to take the chance of scratching it, moving it around and hold, be, until I find it at home. But you'll see that. 
So that is everything I have media wise for the Halloween franchise. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, colloidal collection video. I enjoyed doing it for you. I love to have uh, different collections for different favorite movies that I have. So let me know if you collect for any movies. Tell me in the comments uh, what movies do you collect for, if at all. But I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this and you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification so you know when I upload again. I will be uploading again tomorrow uh, with the Arrow Horror Collection. And then Tuesday, it's just going to be a quick one. It's going to be Pickles Halloween Costume Reveal. And then I'm going to also let you know what I have planned for the month of November. I'm looking forward to doing some noir and things like that. But we'll talk about that on Tuesday. So... Uh, that's going to do it for me today. I want to thank you again for watching, and for now, that's a wrap.